take one. So guys, here we are at the World Tree Transition Summit and I'm with uh, Elias from uh, Kakarot, the Cairo written uh, ZK EVM and they're also one of the sponsors of today's uh, event. And uh, I would love to ask him for some questions about uh, Kakarot uh, current uh, and the future uh, developments. So I hear that I hear in the air that the mainnet is kind of around the corner. So uh, could you give us some uh, some hints and also yeah, well, what are you up to at Kakarot? Right. So Kakarot right now is uh, is on testnet on Starknet with regards to its we're bringing so Kakarot Labs. I would say is bringing EVM, EVM and multi VM compatibility to Starknet. This product is in testnet, public testnet. We're going to enter the last uh, two months of the testnet soon, and right after it, mainnet. So hopefully, oh, is there wood? Can I touch wood? Yeah, yeah. over there. Touch the wood. Yeah. Then uh, December, December wood. mainnet. Wood and uh, yeah, and we're also experimenting with Starkware uh, for the longer term. How can we prove all of EVM? Uh, execution so expand yes. also the Kakarot Labs activity. I see, yeah, because I also uh, I also you know, like uh, saw the the earlier uh, talks that you had yeah. in the panel that you uh, you moderated with the you know the OGs from the streaming <laughs> space, Arbitrum, Polygon, ZK Sync, and obviously uh, Starknet. And uh, my impression is that also like a Kakaro, you also want to. Uh, to to experiment something like uh, elastic chain and aggregated layer, something like that, in order to integrate also other chains, or it, it's something different. It's a bit different. Is the realization that we built an EVM in Cairo, as you said. Yes. So we we aim to grow the Starknet ecosystem, but by taking this EVM and putting it into Starknet, and that creates this idea that now Starknet can be EVM compatible. And then we said we realized that okay, what can you actually do with this EVM as well? You can receive blocks from anyone who is EVM compatible and okay. return a stock. So we are thinking, okay, this actually expands the, the possibilities of stocks to the entire world. This, is, this can be used in the ag layer, in Elastic okay. Chain, in, in, with Sharp, with Bridges, with Wallets. Um, mm -hmm. We're thinking maybe this will bring Stu to the entire world. Uh, very, very promising. And uh, in terms of also community-driven initiatives, in order also to to keep on building a very solid community at Kakarot, I know that uh, there is the the seed program yeah. in uh, ongoing. So what is it about? It's about saying what can you build and who. What are we pushing for for applications of builders who want to join uh, Kakarot and later on Starknet? So it's kind of a it's a accelerator mixed with hackathons and we're experimenting with cool ideas so these ideas can be evm builders want to come to starknet and they want to have okay. a, a product that is evm compatible and also how can a builder build some parts of their app in evm and other parts in Cairo okay. and make them interoperate very cool and uh, do you also have like uh, some uh, some dApps that are building on uh, on Kakarot that you would like to mention uh, which are the use cases that mm -hmm. you see uh, the most potential on Kakarot. This is out, uh, out of the script, sorry. Yeah, no, no worries. Like, no, it's it's out if we, if we, uh, we have currently more than 20 apps building okay. on testnet. Uh, we ran the seed season one and it finished uh, a few days ago, so we picked a few winners. Um, so we were very happy they won. The, we have like Caracal apps that built, that adapted the crypt heavy cryptography, but for Kakarot, and that allowed us to have more uh, like cryptography and Unlocking uh, privacy on Kakarot, so that was that was that's nice. We have lots of winners. They actually came here, okay, in Did Singapore, they? and they're presenting to the booth. Actually, in our booth, their product. I see. There's so many. I can name a few: Enclave, Cassia. Like, wallet abstraction is very big for us. Bridging is also big. What else? P2P, uh, on ramp and off ramp. Um, I'm surely forgetting. Some yeah, it's, it's enough. It's hard. We have games like on chain games like TX Farm. I think at the end of the day, the edge of Kakarot, really can, what can differentiate Kakarot's EVM on Starknet is what can you build that wants to expose itself to EVM world, but that needs Kairos performance. Sure. If you don't have this use case, for some time, it, will, might, it might be better off to build on base and arbitrage because they have better UX. I understand. I'm not preaching for myself sure. right now, but I'm still saying Kakarot is an EVM interoperability module on Starknet. Okay. If you want speed, you should build in Cairo. 
Okay. If you can't build in Cairo, because you need to be multi-chain, because okay. you need your users are okay. in VM, you should build with Kakao. I see what I mean. And then it's going to be slightly more expensive, but you have more user base. So this is the trade-off you have to navigate. And this is also the trade-off we're looking to help people by running this seed program, is uh, to give resources like designer, strategy, code, uh, help, debugging, and also ignition grounds. For sure. And uh, you know, I think uh, the best way also to finish this clip would be also uh, speaking a bit about uh, uh, DEF CON, like in a month in, uh, in Bangkok. And are you in a month? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, kind of. oh one and a half more, yeah. So I would like to know, I'm sure that uh, there will be a big uh, Kakarot presence over there. Yeah, we hope so. And, uh, yeah, so. We have to plan. I must say, uh, okay. and the, sound, the foundation of Starknet just found, they sent us that there are many things to be done. Okay. And we're so excited of the, like, the opportunities. I haven't started planning. Yeah, so I think also like there will be a kind of Kakarot truck in the, in the yeah. upper house uh, by Starknet, right? Yeah, we'll definitely be there. Okay, we'll definitely be there. We can uh, we can help mentor people. We can find new ideas. We can jam. We can even develop some apps. I'm. We are also internalizing dog fooding and internalizing. So we want our team members to build apps on Kakao awesome. and really prove that there are use cases that we haven't even thought about that can be unlocked by Kyo and EVM partnering together. Oh, amazing. So I'm really looking forward to the next uh, development and obviously to the mainnet. And I'm sure we'll be celebra celebrating it on a Star Cafe, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. On a special Star Cafe. And uh, well, that's all for this clip. Thanks a lot. See you on the next week and see you at Banco.